Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to review the case of syphilis of nose. A man came to us. He had ulcer on the nose. It was painless. It developed about seven days ago and it gradually increases. Its sizes were relatively small. The patient did not see any blisters or pus from the ulcer. What do we need to think about here? First of all, about different types of herpes, as herpes can also appear on the nose. Secondly, we need to think about basaliomas. Basaliomas are benign tumors of skin that are often localized on the face. You can watch a separate, more detailed video about basaliomas on our channel. Finally, we need to think about purulent processes, such as abscessed acne, for example, such as streptococcal impetigo if it was traumatized. You can also watch a separate video about what is streptococcal impetigo on our channel. So, such processes have to be excluded. What was done? First of all, touch smear was taken for oncocytology to exclude oncological pathology. Secondly, dermatoscopy was done, an observation. Also, PCR analysis were done for three types of herpes and syphilis, Treponema pallidum. Thirdly, bacterial culture test was taken from the surface of rash. As a result of that, on the next day, as such analysis are done in our clinic within one day, a positive analysis for Treponema pallidum came. Indeed, during palpation of this ulcer, regardless of its small size, it is quite dense. Lymph nodes may be unnoticed here for quite a long time, because from the nose the lymphatic outflow goes to different small lymph nodes. Often these are not submandibular, not parotid lymph nodes that are easily palpated, so here there was no enlargement of lymph nodes. As of today, such defect as heart chancre takes about a month to develop. Indeed, about a month ago, this patient had a contact in the form of cunilingus with an unknown sexual partner. Apart from that, blood analysis were taken for syphilis and the corresponding treatment of primary syphilis was started. There is a separate video about diagnostics and treatment of primary syphilis on our channel. So we shouldn't think that even a simple rash that looks like a common acne will resolve itself. In some cases that may give quite strong complications, for example, a tertiary syphilis when the nose is affected, but it's a saddle type lesion. You can watch a separate theoretical video about syphilis of nose on our channel. We need to think about sexually transmitted infections during any lesions of skin integuments. Here the patient wouldn't think about it as for him the contact was quite a long time ago and the fixation of this contact in the memory was erased. So if any rashes appear on skin, a differential diagnostics of them with sexually transmitted diseases, including syphilis, has to be done. If it's necessary to diagnose and treat any skin rashes, you can consult dermatovenerologists of our paid medical center of Dermatovenerologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such rashes. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.